I've created this simple little scene to demonstrate how light linking works in Modo. Now in Modo it's not a case of you just select a light and then assign which items in the item list can be included or excluded from this light. It doesn't work on a per item or per mesh basis, it works on a per shader basis. The disadvantage of this method is that by default there is only one shader created in the shader tree which is your base shader and um, when you create a new material or a new item mask it doesn't um, automatically create uh, an explicit shader to go with these. If you want to create individual shaders for your materials or your items you actually have to do it manually. So the drawback of Modo's method of light linking is that it takes a bit of time to set up, there's a bit of work involved. The uh, benefit is that it's very powerful and flexible because you're not limited to just using uh, items. You can do your light linking on a per material basis or you could even use um, polygon parts or selection sets. It's very, very flexible. I set up this scene with uh, three spotlights shining down on this um, vase and this flower and I've also created a fourth spotlight which I just want to use to pick out the petals so I'm just going to turn that on and I like what that's doing to the petals but I don't like what it's doing to the vase and the table, it's blowing them out. So I need to tell Modo to just shine this light on the petals and to ignore everything else. So the way to do this is to set up a light group. So I'm going to go to the groups tab create a new group and I'm going to call it something like petal light group and um, you just need to drag your light or lights that you want to be part of this group into the group so you can do this from the viewport or the item list or even down here on the shader tree just uh, grab your light drag and drop it and when you see the the orange highlight release and then you can see it's added one item and if you click on the little plus sign there's the spotlight right there. In the shader tree you're going to have to understand the logic by which these light groups work. Um, so the first thing we need to do is go to the base shader and the texture layers uh, you can see there's this light linking panel. Now the default is um, light group none mode exclude. Now what this means is that essentially it's um, not excluding any lights in the scene which uh, means it's including all the lights in the scene which is a good default obviously but what we're going to do is we're going to go to light group and select our new petal light group from the drop down and if you watch the preview when I do this you can see that the light has essentially been turned off because now the base shader is ignoring it because it's set to exclude um, so the next thing we need to do is to select our flower petals material and we want that to be included so it's not going to work exactly the way you, you might think um, in fact what, what it's going to do um, let me show you if I just drag it above the base shader and then I add a new shader to it well it's included it by default and the reason for that is because the light linking is light group none mode exclude so just as before it's actually including all the lights in the scene whereas the base shader has already been told to ignore our new light group so if I turn the um, new spotlight on and off in the item list and just keep an eye on the preview you can see that it is now only affecting the petals so that's the basic setup. You can of course include several lights in any light group and you can have several light groups. Um, obviously it can start getting very very complicated um, but you, you just need to remember that you need to create groups for each set of lights that you want to um, either include or exclude from particular shaders and you obviously need to create dedicated shaders for each item or each material or each um, selection set or whatever that you want to make use of light groups from. Um, okay, thank you very much for watching and I uh, hope you found this helpful.